Welcome back to our second half hour. There's at least one area race that still does not have a definitive conclusion. It is a state Senate race. In fact, it's the one that in the recall elections gave Democrats brief control of the Senate. The unofficial count right now has Fond du Lac Republican Rick Gudex unseating Democratic incumbent Jessica King. This is it. She's from Oshkosh, and this is in the race for the 18th district. The difference is nearly 600 votes. King says she is not giving up. So what happens next? Fox 11's Chad Dorn has our balanced coverage. It took until early Wednesday morning for all the votes to be counted. As it stands right now, Rick Gudix has won. But the yet unofficial margin of victory is razor thin out of roughly 85,000 votes cast in the race. There is about a 590 vote difference is what we're, what we're seeing right now. So close, incumbent Jessica King has decided not to concede the race. In a statement, she says, I am not conceding this race until every vote is counted and verified. After last night, this race is too close to call, and we'll wait until the county clerks have completed their canvas. Gudek says he's not concerned about the canvas or a potential recount. Instead, he says he's confident he'll be representing the 18th district in Madison. You know, I have no control over recount. Um, you know, if she chooses to recount, that's up to her, and uh, certainly she has that right to do that. And you know, but uh, for the time being, I'm looking forward to heading Madison. A Gudex win will give Republicans a two-vote majority in the state Senate. Significant, according to Lawrence University political science professor Arnold Schobert. That two-vote margin reduces the pressure on um, single uh, Republican legislators to have to go along with everything. So you can lose a defection or two. And in a closely divided Senate, I mean, even a two-vote majority is not that big. But it's a majority that appears safe, at least for this election cycle. Yeah, I mean, you don't make up that big of a difference. You know, if, if it was paper ballots that weren't, you know, that were being hand counted and people were tired at the end of the night, you might find more discrepancies, but the machines have proven themselves to be quite accurate. And Gudex says he's ready to get to work on day one. We're going to be working on uh, business, jobs, and economy, just like I had uh, said throughout my whole campaign. In Fond du Lac, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Now, if the canvas shows a difference of 428 votes or less, King can request a recount at no cost to her campaign. Otherwise, she can request one at a cost of $5 per ward. The canvas needs to be completed by November 20th, and King would have until November 24th to ask for that recount.